So we're gonna do this new set of Kiss uh, Halloween nails. They have some glow-in-the-dark ones as well as non-glow-in-the-dark ones in the set. My first step is always to trim down and remove my old set. You can actually see me put this set on in a video earlier this month for Vlogtober. I've uh, started using paper towels to soak off this with acetone. It did not work well, so I ended up switching over to cotton and then soaking them and with acetone in the neck wrap that's heated and I wrap that around my hand and the heat really pushes the process along and ex expedites things. So that's a really helpful addition to my routine. Then I give myself a nice manicure, push my cuticles back, soak my nails, that kind of thing, get them cleaned up. It was a little extra messy this time because the nails that I had on before were black nails. They lasted about three weeks. I was very impressed with that set. And then while my nails kind of dry after I do all that care to them, I lay out the next set and make a plan on what they're gonna look like. The most abundant nail in this set, unfortunately, is a black matte nail. Now, I don't have anything aesthetically against a matte nail, but they scuff. Matte nails scuff really easily. So the wear on them is just not attractive. So I plan to put a nail wrap actually over the top of these black nails that I was gonna use for my thumbs. Unfortunately, the only thing I didn't realize about these wraps that I bought was that there wasn't very many wraps in the pack that were big enough for a thumbnail, even a small thumbnail like mine. So the wrap I put on actually isn't perfectly covering the whole nail, but I made it work. So here I am scuffing up my own natural nails as well as sizing down a couple of the nails. Fortunately, there wasn't a ton of work to be done on this set. They had a lot of sizes that fit my fingers. And then I just go about putting the nails on, put about one drop of glue in the nail, and then press it really firmly into my natural nail. I use the Kiss Fast Dry Nail Glue, and it works fantastic. It's a great formula. You kind of have to dig to find it out in the stores or order it online. Don't get the Flex Bond Kissed Nail Glue. It's not any good. Don't bother. Not worth your money. Look for the Fast Dry. And then there they all are. Then I trim them down to the length I want them. That's the cool thing about these fake nails is that you can trim them and shape them into whatever shape you want. And I do kind of like an almond shape. Then I busted out this nail wrap. They're like a gel nail wrap from Dashing Diva. They're really cute. But like I said, unfortunately, the thumbs, there just wasn't a lot of options for the thumbs in the set. So the ones I picked out were slightly smaller than the width of my thumbnail. I end up throwing a little bit of a glossy top coat over the top of it all just to kind of help it blend out that edge. It's not super obvious, really only I can tell, but it does bother me. And the wraps, like, they're lifting a little bit around the edge of my nail. So I don't know how well they're gonna hold up. We'll see, time will tell. Anything's better than just those plain black matte nails, I guess. <laughs> maybe, maybe not, we'll see. But I had to trim them down because they were really long. Uh, so I used my nail clippers and I ended up using my uh, cuticle nippers to precision trim them and then file the edges of them down like the direction said to do. The filing didn't really work very well. I don't know if I'm just kind of a noob at how to put these on. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm trying my best. <laughs> This is just a Sally Hansen base and top coat combo product. And that's what they turned out like. I think they're really cute. The middle two fingers glow in the dark and they're really fun. 
So let's hope this set lasts as good as the next set. We'll see. Time will tell. Watch my shorts. I'll update there for how these are going. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.